Let's start with ancient history of India. Stone Age The period without a documented evidence of its history is called prehistoric period. Proto-historic period is the period having shreds of evidence of a script which is still not deciphered. Proto-historic refers to the period between prehistoric and historical period. The time after which we get documented description is called historic period. Stone Age comes under the prehistoric period. Indus Valley Civilization and Copper Age culture comes under the proto-historic period. The historical period starts from Vedic culture. In India, the research on Stone Age civilization started at first in 1863. The whole Stone Age has been categorized into three parts based on difference of tools used. These are Paleolithic period, Mesolithic period and Neolithic period. Paleolithic period is further categorized into three periods on the same basis I. The lower Paleolithic period, tools used hand axe, cleaver, chopper, etc. E. The middle Paleolithic period, tools used points, borer, scrapper. E. The upper Paleolithic period, Baron's chopper chopping pebble pieces of tools were at first obtained from Sohan River Valley of Punjab, Pakistan. At first, hand axe pieces of equipment were found in Vadamadurai and Ektirapikam near Madras. Other tools of this culture are cleaver, scraper, etc. Robert Bruce Foote was a British geologist and archaeologist. The expedition of L. Cambridge team under the leadership of B. Thera did the most important research in Sohan Valley in 1935. In Balan Valley, the research was carried under the direction of G. R. Sharma of Allahabad University. Nearly 44 archaeological sites were found in this valley which is related to the Lower Paleolithic period. Apart from tools, the statue of bone-made mother goddess of this age was obtained from Lohindanala region of Balan Valley which is currently preserved at the Koshambi Museum. The life of Paleolithic people was completely natural. They were primarily dependent on hunting. They were unfamiliar with fire, so they ate raw meat. Paleolithic people were unfamiliar with farming and animal husbandry. We came to know about Mesolithic period only after C. L. Kalil discovered 1867-68 the rock painting from Vindhya region. According to the excavated evidence, the domestication of animals began in the Mesolithic period. The earliest pieces of evidence of domestication of animals in India have been found at Adamgad, Hoshangabad, MP, and Bagor, Bilwara, Rajasthan. Many implements made of bones and horns have been found from the Mesolithic site, Mahadaha, located in Pratapgad district of UP. The book entitled Puratatwa Vimarsh, written by Dr. Jayanarayan Pandey, describes various pointed objects and ornaments made of bones which have been reported from Sarai Neher Rai, Damdama, and Mahadaha. Damdama is a Mesolithic site in Pratapgad district of Uttar Pradesh. In Damdama, 41 human graves have been found. Out of these graves, Five are double burial. One triple burial grave is also found here. A grave with four human skeletons has been found at Sarai Neher Rai. 
The megaliths usually refer to the burials made up of large stones in graveyards away from the habitation area. A large fraction of these is assumed to be associated with burial or post-burial rituals including memorials for those whose remains may or may not be available. Some of these are chamber tomb, dolmens, stone alignment, stone circle from lage pit circles, etc. According to Puratatwa Vimarsh, by J.N. Pandey 17 human skeletons were found from rock shelter 1 of Lake Hahia in the Windhya region. Some of these were in relatively pristine condition while most of the others were warped. According to John R. Lucas of Oregon University, the USA, remnants of 27 human skeletons were found in Lake Hahia. The rock shelters of Bhimbetka are located 45 kilometers west of Bhopal. UNESCO has included the shell pictures of Bhimbetka in the list of its world heritage. These caves exhibit the earliest traces of human life on the Indian subcontinent and include the pictures of an elephant, Samhar, Gail, etc. Brains were first ever produced in Neolithic age. It was the time when people were introduced to agriculture. Coldier and Mergad were the two Neolithic villages from where here pieces evidence of rice and wheat have been found. There are mainly eight types of food grains consumed by modern human society, namely barley, wheat, maize, millet, sorghum, mustard, oat and rice. These crops were present in the form of weed in different areas which were later grown as seed by a human being at different places, at different times. Barley was the first grain to be cultivated by human beings during 8000 BC in Western Asian countries located between the Northeast Mediterranean Sea and Iran. Later, in the same area, wheat was also cultivated around 8000 BC. Rice was the third grain to be cultivated by human beings in approx. 7000 BC at the Yangtze River in China. Maize was cultivated in Central and South America during 6000 BC. The first evidence of maize was found in Mexico, millet in 5500 BC in China, sorghum in 5000 BC in East Africa. Mustard in 5000 BC in Southeast Asia and oat in 2300 BC in Europe. According to the latest research, the earliest evidence of agriculture in Indian subcontinent was reported from the Lahuradeva site in Sant Kabir Nagar district, Uttar Pradesh. The evidence of human activity and beginning of rice cultivation at this site dated back to around 9000-7000 BC. Significantly before this research, the earlier evidence of wheat was found at Mergad, located in Balochistan, Pakistan, belonging to around 7000 BC and the earliest evidence of rice is known to be near the bank of the river Balin. District Allahabad, from where rice bran was found dating back to 6500 BC. The cultural remains from Stone Age to Harappan civilization have been found in Mergad located in Balochistan, Pakistan. The Burzahum site is a prehistoric settlement in the village of the same name in Kashmir Valley. Both human and animal skeletons were found here with trepanning, bored holes, marks. In many pits, bones of dogs and antlered deer were found along with human skeletons. The skeletons of humans were found in the burial pits in a sitting position along with bones of animals. 
the first excavation at the Burza home site was carried out by Helmut de Terror and Dr. Thomas Patterson in the year 1935. The people of Jorwe culture lived in large rectangular houses with wattle and daub walls and thatched roof. They believed in life after death and therefore buried the dead inside the houses under the fluid ore. Children were buried in two urns that were joined mouth to mouth and set horizontally in the pit, while adults were placed in a supine position with the head towards the north, north to south. These sites were found in Damabad, Inamgao, Chandoli, Niwasa etc. The ash mounds have been found from a Neolithic site Sanganakalu located in Vellari district near Mysore in Karnataka. They have also been found in Piklihal and Utnur. These ash mounds are the burnt relics of seasonal camps of Neolithic herdsmen community. Fire was first used as in the Neolithic period. Copper was the first metal used. Copper age is also known as the Chalcolithic age. The age in which instruments of copper were used in addition to stone is called as Copper Age. Settlements of Chalcolithic period in India were found in Southeast Rajasthan, Western Madhya Pradesh, Western Maharashtra and Southeast India. Navdatoli has revealed excellent evidence of both round and rectangular residential structures which are located near Indore. The former measures about 3 meters in diameter and the later is 2 meters times 2.2 meters. The roofs were probably made of hay, tree branches and leaves and were supported on massive wooden posts. 22 cm in diameter, raised at regular intervals around the huts. The open spaces between the posts were provided with mud-plastered bamboo screens. The house floors were made up of silt clay and river gravel, with the surface coated with lime. The huts were provided with one or two mouth chulhas, as well as storage jars and other earthen vessels. Ochre-colored pottery, known to archaeologists as OCP, as the name implies, its main distinguishing feature was its ochre color. Other characteristics are its porous character and the fact that it is invariably worn out at the edges. Most of its evidence is mainly found from Atranjik Hera and Hastinapur. The Archaeological Survey of India, under the Ministry of Culture, is a premier organization for the archaeological research and protection of the cultural heritage of the nation. In 1871, the Archaeological Survey was established as a separate department and Alexander Cunningham was appointed as its first director general. In 1901, during the tenure of Lord Curzon, it was centralized as Archaeological Survey of India and John Marshall was appointed in 1902 as its first director general. National Human Museum which was renamed as Indira Gandhi National Human Museum is in Bhopal, Madhya Pradesh. It is an autonomous organization under the Department of Culture. Let's now discuss previously asked questions in different exams based on this topic. Question number 1. Robert Bruce Foote, who discovered first Paleolithic tool in India? was a an a geologist b archaeologist c paleobotanist d historian answer is r and b explanation according to encyclopedia britannica robert bruce foot was a british geologist and archaeologist 
He is considered as the father of Indian prehistory. He was associated with the geological survey and documented the antiquities of the Stone Age. Hence, both options A and B can be considered as correct. Question number 2. The three age system, divided into stone, bronze and iron from the collection of Copenhagen Museum was coined by A. Thompson B. Lubbock C. Taylor D. Child Answer is A. Explanation According to Commission Report Present Archaeological System of the Three Main Ages Stone, Bronze and iron was developed by the Danish archaeologist Christian Jurgensen Thomson in 1818 and 1820. He classified object of museum in 1836. Question number 3. According to the excavated evidence, the domestication of animal began in A. Lower Paleolithic period B. Middle Paleolithic period, C. Upper Paleolithic period, D. Mesolithic period. Answer is D. Explanation According to the excavated evidence, the domestication of animals began in the Mesolithic period. The earliest pieces of evidence of domestication of animals in India have been found at Adamgad, Hoshangabad. MP and Bagor Vilvara, Rajasthan. Question number 4. Which among the following sites provides evidence of domestication of animals in the Mesolithic period? A. Odai B. Bori C. Bagor D. Lakhnia. Answer is C. Explanation same as above question. Question number 5. In Mesolithic context, evidence of animal domestication has been found at A. Langnaj B. Birbhanpur C. Adamgad D. Chopani Mando Answer is C. Explanation same as above question. Question number 6. From which one of the following sites bone implements have been found? A. Chopani Mando B. Kakorya C. Mahadaha D. Sarai Neherai Answer is C and D. Explanation A large number of implements made of bones and horns have been found from the Mesolithic site. Mahadaha and Sarai Neher Rai, located in Pratapgad district of UP. The book entitled, Puratatwa Vimash, written by Dr. Jayanarayan Pandey describes various pointed objects and ornaments made of bones which have been reported from Sarai Neher Rai, Dumdama and Mahadaha. Question number 7. Bone ornaments in the Mesolithic context in India have been obtained from A. Sarai Neher Rai B. Mahadaha C. Likhahiya D. Chopani Mando Answer is R and B. Explanation same as above question. Question number 8. Three human skeletons in a single grave were recovered at A. Sarai Neher Rai B. Damdama C. Mahadaha D. Langnaj. Answer is B. Explanation Damdama is a Mesolithic site in Pratapgad district Uttar Pradesh. In Damdama, 41 human graves were found. Out of these graves, 5 are double burial. One triple burial grave is also found here. A grave with four human skeletons has been found at Sarai Neher Rai. Question number 9. The cultivation of cereals first started in A. Neolithic Age B. Mesolithic Age C. Paleolithic Age D. Protohistoric Age Answer is A. Explanation 
Greens were first ever produced in Neolithic age. It was the time when people were introduced to agriculture. Coldier and Mergad were the two Neolithic villagers from where here pieces of evidence of rice and wheat have been found. Question number 10. During the Neolithic age the earliest evidence of the origin of agriculture has been found at which of the following place in the northwestern region of Indian subcontinent? A. Munivdak B. Mihargad C. Dam Sadat D. Balakot A. Amri Answer is B. Explanation same as above question. Question number 11. The earliest evidence of man in India is found in A. Nilgiri Hills B. Shivalik Hills C. Nalamala Hills D. Narmada Valley Answer is D. Explanation In India, the first evidence of man was found in western Narmada region of Madhya Pradesh. It was discovered in 1982. Question number 12. The first cereal used by man was A. Wheat B. Rice C. Barley D. Sorghum Answer is C. Explanation There are mainly eight types of food grains consumed by modern human society, namely barley, wheat, maize, millet, sorghum, mustard, oat and rice. These plants were present in the form of weed in different areas, which were later grown as seed by a human being at different places, in different times. Although, barley was the first grain to be cultivated by human beings during 8000 BC in western Asian countries located between the northeast Mediterranean Sea and Iran. Later, in the same area, wheat was also cultivated around 8000 BC. Rice was the third grain to be cultivated by human beings in approx 7000 BC at the Yangtze River of China. Maize was cultivated in Central and South America during 6000 BC. The first evidence of maize was found in Mexico. Millet in 5500 BC in China, sorghum in 5000 BC in East Africa, mustard in 5000 BC in Southeast Asia and oat in 2300 BC in Europe. Question number 13. The earliest evidence of agriculture in Indian subcontinent comes from A. Koldia B. Lahura Deva C. Mergad D. Tokwa. Answer is B. Explanation According to the latest research, the earliest evidence of agriculture in Indian subcontinent has been reported from the Lahura Deva site in Sant Kabir Nagar district, Uttar Pradesh. The evidence of human activity and beginning of rice cultivation at the site dates back to around 7000-9000 BC signify cantly before this research. The earlier evidence of wheat was found at Mergad, located in Balochistan, Pakistan, belonging to around 7000 BC and the earliest evidence of rice is known to be near the bank of the river Balin. District Allahabad, from where rice bran was found dating back to 6500 BC with above reference. If Lahuradeva is one option, then it will be the correct answer. But if Lahuradeva is not an option, then Mergad would be the right answer. Question number 14. With reference to the cultural heritage of Uttar Pradesh, which of the following statement S's are correct? 1. The oldest evidence of agriculture in the global context has been obtained from many excavated sites in this region. 2. The oldest cultivated food grains are barley and paddy.
Select the correct answer using the codes given below code. A. Only 1. B. Only 2. C. Both 1 and 2. D. Neither 1 nor 2. Answer is A. Explanation From Lahuradev in Sant Kabir Nagar District, Uttar Pradesh, oldest evidence of agriculture have been obtained. The oldest food grains were barley and wheat. Hence option A is correct. Question number 15. Name the site which has revealed the earliest evidence of settled life. A. Dolovera B. Kile Gul Muhammad C. Kalaibangan D. Mergud Answer is D. Explanation same as above question. Question number 16. The earliest evidence of agriculture in the Indian subcontinent has been obtained from A. Brahmagiri B. Burzahum C. Koldia D. Mergud Answer is D. Explanation same as above question. Question number 17. The earliest evidence of agriculture in Indian subcontinent is found at A. Lothal B. Harappa C. Mergad D. Mundigar Answer is C. Explanation same as above question. Question number 18. Which one of the following periods is also known as Chalcolithic Age? A. Old Stone Age B. New Stone Age C. Copper Age D. Iron Age Answer is C. Explanation Copper Age is also known as the Chalcolithic Age. The age in which instruments of copper were used in addition to stone is called as Copper Age. Question number 19. The cultural remains from Stone Age to Harappan civilization have been obtained from which one of the following ancient sites? A. Amri B. Mergad C. Kot D. G. D. Kalaibingan Answer is B. Explanation the cultural remains from Stone Age to Harappan civilization have been obtained from Mergad located in Balochistan, Pakistan. Question number 20. Excavation at Nawada Toli was conducted by A. K. D. Bajpai B. V. S. Vakankar C. H. D. Sankalia D. Mortimer Wheeler Answer is C. Explanation Navdatoli has revealed excellent evidence of both round and rectangular residential structures which are located near Indore, Madhya Pradesh. The former measures about 3 meters in diameter and the latter 2 meters times 2.2 meters. The roofs were probably made of hay, branches, and leaves and were supported on massive wooden posts. 22 cm in diameter, raised at regular intervals around the huts. The open spaces between the posts were provided with mud-plastered bamboo screens. The house floors were made up of silt clay and river gravel, with the surface coated with lime. The huts were provided with one or two mouth chulhas, as well as storage jars and other earthen vessels. This site was excavated by Mr. H. D. Sankalia, Professor Deccan College, Pune. This site was the most extensive excavated rural Chalcolithic site of Indian subcontinent, which is determined to be between 1600 BC and 1300 BC. Question number 21. In which state, the Navdatoli is located? A. Gujarat B. Maharashtra C. Chhattisgarh D. Madhya Pradesh Answer is D. Explanation same as above question. Question number 22. 
in which state of India is the Harappan civilization site Mandi situated? A. Gujarat B. Haryana C. Rajasthan D. Uttar Pradesh Answer is D. Explanation Mandi is located to the east of the Yamuna River. In Muzaffarnagar district, western Uttar Pradesh and this area has been considered peripheral to the main distribution area of the Harappan civilization. A hoard of jewellery at Mandi was discovered during an excavation carried out by D. V. Sharma 1999-2000. Question number 23. Consider the following statements pertaining to the Ahar civilization. A. The natives of Ahar knew copper smelting bee rice was unknown to them. C. Metal work was one of the means of economy of the Ahar. D. Black red colored pottery have been found here on which generally white-colored geometrical designs have been carved. Choose the correct option. A. A. C and D are correct. B. R and B are correct. C. A. B and C are correct. D. C and D are correct. Answer is A. Explanation Ahar civilization belonged to Chalcolithic period and flourished around the Mewar region of Rajasthan. They used copper tools and evidence of copper smelting is present too. Hence, A and C statements are correct. Rice was known to them hence B is wrong. Mostly black-red colored pottery decorated with white geometric design have been found here. Hence D is also correct. Question number 24. Megaliths have been identified as A. Caves for hermits B. Burial sites C. Temple sites D. None of the above. Answer is B. Explanation The megaliths usually refer to the burials made up of large stones in graveyards away from the habitation area. A large fraction of these is assumed to be associated with burial or post-burial rituals including memorials for those whose remains may or may not be available. Few types of these are chamber tomb. Dolmans, stone alignment, stone circle, cromlage pit circles, etc. Question number 25. Ash mound is associated with the Neolithic site at A. Bodihal, B. Sanganakal Loop, C. Koldia, D. Brahmagiri. Answer is B. Explanation The Ash Mounds have been found from a Neolithic site Sanganakalu located in Vellari district near Mysore in Karnataka. They have also been found in Piklihal and Utnur. These ash mounds are the burnt relics of seasonal camps of Neolithic herdsman community. Question number 26. Bhimbetka is famous for A. Rock paintings, B. Buddhist statues, C. Minerals, D. Origin of Sun River. Answer is A. Explanation The rock shelters of Bhimbetka are located 45 km west of Gopal. UNESCO has included the shell pictures of Bhimbetka in the list of its World Heritage. These caves exhibit the earliest traces of human life on the Indian subcontinent and include the pictures of an elephant, Samhar, Gaya, etc. There are 133 pictures in 700 rock shelters. Question number 27. In India, from which rock shelter pictures has been found the most? A. Bhagharia B. Bhimbetka C. Lake Hahia D. Adamgad. Answer is B. Explanation as above question. 
Question number 28. Which one of the following places is famous for prehistoric paintings? A. Ajanta B. Bhimbetka C. Bag D. Amravati Answer is B. Explanation The best example of prehistoric paintings is the rock shelters and caves of Bhimbetka, located in recent district of Madhya Pradesh. The rock shelters of Bhimbetka are in the foothills of the Windian Mountains on the southern edge of the central Indian plateau. The rock cut paintings of Ajanta and Bagh are related to post Mauryan period, while Amravati, which is famous for its Khan architecture, is considered to be built in Shunga's period or Satavahana's period. Question number 29 Where are the caves of Bhimbetka situated? A. Bhopal B. Kachmarhi C. Singh Rolli D. Abdul Laganj Resin Answer is D. Explanation as above question. Question number 30. Which of the following Indian archaeologists first visited Bhimbetka Caves and discovered prehistoric significance of its rock paintings? A. Madhu Swarup Vatsa B. H. D. Sankalya C. V. S. Vakankar D. V. N. Mishra Answer is C. Explanation Bhimbetka Caves are located in Resin district of MP. They are best example of rock painting of prehistoric era. It was discovered by V. S. Vakankar in 1957. It is a UNESCO World Heritage Site for its prominent prehistoric rock paintings. Question number 31. Bhimbetka was discovered by A. Dr. H. D. Sankhalia B. Dr. Shyam Sundar Nigam C. Dr. Vishnudhar Vakankar D. Dr. Raj Bulpande Answer is C. Explanation as above question. Question number 32. The ochre colored pottery OCP was christened at A. Hastinapur B. Ahichhatra C. No D. Red Fort. Answer is A. Explanation. Discovery and naming Kristen of OCP was done by B.B. Lal in 1951 at Hastinapur. A pre-colored pottery known to archaeologists is OCP as the name implies. Its main distinguishing feature was its ochre color, which gives it a first appearance of being badly fire red. Other characteristics are its porous character and the fact that it is invariably worn out at the edges. Question number 33. In the Chalcolithic period people of Maharashtra buried their dead under the flow of their houses in the following orientation. A. North to South position B. East to West Position C. South to North Position D. West to East Position Answer is A. Explanation The people of Jorway culture lived in large rectangular houses with wattle and daub walls and thatched roof. They believed in life after death and therefore buried the dead inside the houses under the floor. Children were buried in two urns that were joined mouth to mouth and set horizontally in the pit, while adults were placed in a supine position with the head towards the north, north to south. These sites were found in Daimabad, Inamgal, Chandoli, Nivasa, etc. Question number 34 which of the following sites has yielded skeleton of the dog along with human skeleton in burial? A. Brahmagiri B. Burzahum C. Chiran D. Miski Answer is B. The Burzahum site is a prehistoric settlement in the village of the same name in Kashmir Valley. 
Both human and animal skeletons were found here with trepanning board hole marks. In many pits, bones of dogs and antlered deer were found along with human skeletons. The skeletons of humans were found in the burial pits in a sitting position along with bones of animals. The first excavation at the Burzahum site was carried out by Helmut de Terror and Dr. Thomas Patterson in the year 1935. Question number 35. The evidence of burying the dog with human body is found from which of the following places? A. Burzahum B. Koldia C. Chopani D. Mando Answer is A. See the explanation of above question. Question number 36. The evidence of pit dwelling has been obtained from A. Burzahum B. Koldia C. Brahmagiri D. Sanganakallu Answer is A. See the explanation of above question. Question number 37. Consider the following pairs. Historical place well known for 1. Burzahum Rock Cut Shrines. 2. Chandra Ketugad Terracotta Art 3. Ganeshwar Copper Artifacts. Which of the pairs given above us are correctly matched? A. 1 only B. 1 and 2 C. 3 only D. 2 and 3. Answer is D. Explanation. Burza home is a Neolithic site in Kashmir Valley. The site is famous for pit dwelling and Neolithic tool industry and not for rock cut shrines. Hence pair 1 is not correctly matched. Chandraketugad is located in the Ganga Delta in West Bengal. In early historic times, Chandraketugad was connected to the Ganga by the Vidyadhari River and must have been an important center of trade and possibly also a political center. Chandraketugad was a major center of terracotta craft. Various kinds of artifacts have been found at the site over the years, including coins, pottery, seals and ceilings and figurines made of ivory, wood and bronze. Hence pair 2 is correctly matched. The Ganeshwar Jodhpura culture was located in the northeastern part of Rajasthan. Hundreds of copper objects have been found at this site. Hence pair 3 is correctly matched. Question number 38. From which rock shelter of wind hills, a maximum number of human skeletons have been found? A. Morahana Pahar B. Bhaghariya C. Baghahi Kot D. Lekhahiya Answer is D. Explanation. According to Puratatwa Vimarsh, by J. N. Pandey, 17 human skeletons were obtained from rock shelter 1 of Lake Hahia in the Windhya region. Some of these were in relatively pristine condition while most of the others were warped. According to John R. Lucas of Oregon University, the USA, remnants of 27 human skeletons were found in Lake Hahia. Question number 39. Given below are two statements. One is labeled as assertion A and other as reason R. Assertion A. The Stone Age people of the Windhyas migrated to the Ganga Valley in terminal Pleistocene period. Reason R. Due to climatic change, it was dry phase in this period. Choose the correct answer from the code given below. Code A. Both A and R are true and R is the correct explanation of A, B. Both A and R are true and R is not the correct explanation of A, C, A is true but R is false. D, A is false but R is true. Answer is A.
Explanation Stone Age people of the Vindhyas migrated to the Ganga Valley in terminal Pleistocene period because of climatic change Vindhyan Valley had become dry. Question number 40. Which of these departments ministries deals with Archaeological Survey of India as an accessory office? A. Culture B. Tourism C. Science and Technology D. Human Resource and Development Answer is A. Explanation The Archaeological Survey of India ASI, under the Ministry of Culture is a premier organization for the archaeological research and protection of the cultural heritage of the nation. In 1871, the Archaeological Survey was established as a separate department, and Alexander Cunningham was appointed as its first Director General. In 1901, during the tenure of Lord Curzon, it was centralized and designated as Archaeological Survey of India. In 1902 John Marshall was appointed as its first Director General. Question number 41. Where is National Human Museum situated? A. Guwahati B. Bustar C. Bhopal D. Chennai Answer is C. Explanation. National Human Museum, which was renamed as Indira Gandhi National Human Museum is located in Bhopal. It is an autonomous organization under the Department of Culture. These are the various questions based upon Stone Age. We will discuss Indus Valley Civilization in next video. Thanks for watching.